across the United States, an annual ritual to snap up some of the year's hottest bargains during the holiday shopping season. But if this year's post-Thanksgiving sales lack the fervor that has occasionally turned ugly, perhaps the worldwide inflation crisis has played a part. I think it made us look for sales yeah. more so than we usually would, just to be conservative with how much we're spending. 2022 was the year inflation came roaring back as prices across much of the globe rose the most since 1981, the year Ronald Reagan became US president. Pent up consumer demand, overwhelming supply chains and low interest rates encouraging people to spend were two factors. Inflation here in the US peaked at more than 9% in June. And one reason price rises like that have been such a shock is that inflation cycles had largely disappeared from most advanced economies since the last great inflation crisis of the 1980s. So a whole generation of people have had to get to grips with the concept of rampant price rises on the fly. And for some, it's been painful. And inflation engulfed much of the global economy. Gasoline prices surging from Paris to Sao Paulo among the most visible early signs. Uh, I travel more than 25 kilometers to come to work. So yes, it's a lot of money. We have to cut down on various things to be able to shop. We can't go far. We have to use very little fuel. Those surging fuel prices were blamed largely on the conflict between Russia, one of the world's biggest crude oil producers, and Ukraine, and the ensuing Western economic sanctions imposed upon Moscow. And as two of the world's most important wheat exporters, these neighbors also drove food prices higher, especially in countries dependent upon grain imports, such as Morocco. It's true that this war has affected the prices of wheat and flour, which is now seven or eight dirhams, when it used to be five dirhams. All of this prompted economists to slash global growth forecasts that initially looked stellar as much of the world emerged from the COVID-19 pandemic. But as inflation begins to ease off, both China, where price pressures have been less pronounced, and India are expected to lead the strongest expansions in 2023. Owen Fairclough, CGTN, Washington.